We want Mainers to keep moving from poverty to prosperity long after I am gone. The governor and his allies are pushing the Welfare Reform for Increased Security and Employment Act, the RISE Act for short. It seeks to codify in law many of the rule changes the LePage administration has been able to make without legislative approval. Why would we take a program that's working and then the next election elect a governor comes in and removes a waiver for work again? Why would we want to do that? Administration officials accuse previous governors of relaxing the rules and trapping Mainers in a cycle of poverty. We talk about the American dream but have designed welfare programs that have become a nightmare of poverty and despair. The governor says tougher rules have shrunken the state's public assistance programs and led more Mainers to transition successfully from welfare to work. When we put these sorts of bills up in the past, Republican House Minority Leader Ken Fredette is the sponsor of the RISE Act. And so if people don't think that these policies mean something, well, they mean something to people at the polls. After today's press conference, advocates pushing for a moral budget gathered outside the governor's cabinet room to respond. This RISE proposal is helping no one rise. What the governor calls reforms are, are very punitive, and they've, they've had the result of just really drastically reducing the people who get assistance. We asked the governor about children who lose their welfare benefits after their parents get caught cheating the system. Those parents should not have those children, period. Now, Democratic lawmakers do not want to respond on camera today, but in a written statement, the chair of the legislature's Health and Human Services Committee told us what the governor calls reforms actually do lasting damage to some of the most vulnerable Mainers. I'm Paul Merrill, WMTW News 8.